Illustrated by Charles Santori. Sam. <laughs> All right, Claire, let's sit down. We need to get a paint. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stocking were, stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Thank you, bud. That was nice. What is Oops, he doing? too many pages. He's turning the page for me. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Dude, you're going a little bit fast now. <laughs> Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon was on the moon on the breast on the new fallen snow gave the huster of midday to objects below. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and he shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. No, you can go, to Rudolph. The, uh, Rudolph wasn't there at this one. Why? He came later. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. Okay, you're falling, dude. <laughs> there you go. Need another oh, we'll get one at the end. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas II. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. Who's that? St. Nicholas. What's he also known as? That's right. Dude. That's because he hears Claire's voice and wants to see what he's doing. You can put him on the other arm so then he can yeah. turn around. Let's try that. Ugh. There we go. He, he turned into a lamp. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. There's soot. Soot is uh, what you get from the chimney. See all the ash and stuff? That's because he goes up and down the chimneys. A bundle of toys Arsene he had flung on his back. <coughs> and he looked like a peddler chimney. just opening his pack. Our sand will go down our chimney because we don't have a hole for him to come down here into our house. So he would just come down through our door because our door has a hole. We'll see. He'll figure out a way in a bit. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Look at his beard. He has a big beard. He does. I'll show you where, how you to do this. Oh, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> Let him roll off. The stump of a pipe. He held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled, like his head like a wreath. This is mustache. Look at his mustache, Mom. Oh, wow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle.
But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Yet. Yay! We need nothing, we need a nose right.